Hi Libra, this is your Tarot Cards reading by M for the year 2021. We will have two cards per month this time and I'm gonna start immediately. So January for you Libra and we have Justice, February, King of Cups, March, King of Wands, April, Three of Wands, May, Five of Wands, June, Four of Swords, July, Queen of Cups, Ah, oh, pardon me, Queen of Pentacles, <laughs> Queen, of, Queen of Pentacles in July, the world in August, King of Swords in September, Ten of Swords in October, Six of Cups November, and Ten of Cups December. Your influencing energy is Six of Six of Swords. Somehow by the end of the year, by the end of 2020, you felt a bit easier for yourself. The situation is a bit easier because 2020 was difficult for all. And perhaps by the end of the year, you felt that it is now a bit easier. Um, you worry a bit, a bit less, a bit easier on your mind. Now, justice, justice in January. That's your energy, Libra. You feel really good with that. When it's a balance, just shows you balance. Moment, that's energy that you like to embody. So, justice with seven of wands. King of Cups in February with Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands in March with Knight of Pentacles. Three of Wands April with Queen of Pentacles. Five, five of Rods with Three of Pentacles. Four of Swords with Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles July with Six of Swords, the world, August with Temperance, King of Swords, September with King of Cups, Ten of Swords with the world, Six of Cups, November with Queen of Cups, and Ten of Cups with the Moon, Ten of Cups with the Moon, the Sun the sun. You felt like from now on, from now on everything is going to be easier. It could be by the end of the year that you maybe went vacation. Um, some Something nearby, something by the river, by the lake, you know, it, it signifies something like that, the sun and uh, six of swords. But I really think that you just felt like that a bit easier, that it was relieved. That moment of relief from now on, it's going to be easier. It's kind of energized that moment is important you seeing it as truth as something important something very joyful something that brings you joy and happiness now with seven of wands and justice in january we suggest strongly something legal where you have to defend yourself somebody suing you <laughs> you know and you are defending by all means you are defending you standing by something that you are certain about you know that that what you are saying is the truth and that you are very sure about um, you know what you are talking about and uh, that's um, kind of decision about it i think it's it's just that that is something very something legal where you have to defend yourself with a justice card. Whatever that is in your environment, that is um, something from government, lawyers involved, court case involved, anything that comes legal and you have to defend. We have to prove something here. You have to do it on in uh, January. That is kind of major theme for your January. That defensive position of yours, and in court perhaps. King of Cups. Now, by the way, 
before I carry on, I have to tell you, it's so many people. It seems the whole year is going to be very social, that all the time you have to deal with people, to perhaps sign contracts, to make dealings, to whatever. I mean, it, it's feeling co maybe competitive, whatever, I'm just guessing, whatever it could be. But it's plenty people this year, dealing with people a lot, a lot. It's a theme of this year, people around you. Now, Ace of Pentacles and King of Cups, we love this Ace of Pentacles always. And that February says, opportunity is coming your way. You feel it. Or you are discussing this opportunity with somebody who's Pisces or, or Scorpio or Cancer person in February. This person is with you um, not, not so to give you advice, but just to be with you, supporting you. This is very much support. Just to tell you this is good opportunity for you. Maybe this person brings this opportunity for you, uh, this King of Cups. But by all means, Ace of Pentacles is your excellent opportunity. This is beautiful things that comes your way. You feel it. You, um, you will um, definitely take this opportunity for yourself because there is sort of abundance and money and happiness stands with Ace of Pentacles. Something tangible, your success stands with this Ace of Pentacles. And that means your future that is potential for something like that. Nothing that happens in February. That's what I'm saying. King of Cups here in February. February perhaps is there to talk with you about this potential, this opportunity that comes your way. And just to tell you, this is excellent opportunity. You can do so and so with it. I can help you in such way. Though, as I said, King of Cups usually is not um, that is not this this um, is not helpful in a practical sense. It's mostly that emotional uh, support. You know, somebody comes and tells you, I feel that will be the best way for you, the best way forward for you. But this King of Cups, by all means, you will have conversation with person like that about this opportunity. Opportunity is very important. Could be, as I said, that it, that it comes from this Pisces, um, Scorpio or Cancer person in February. King of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. Now we are another king, another person that you are talking with or communicating with. You've got now communication with this Aries person. Now this one is one man business. That sort of, that kind of person. One that is ready to do whatever is on its way. Very creative. Every single wand is creative. So King of Wands is very creative. It says it, it can make business out of, out of nothing. It can make prospect out of nothing. That one is capable. Beautiful ideas. It can implement any idea on its own. The most similar to me, to magician, is this one. King of Wands. Now, Knight of Pentacles within you. Now this is something that you've got very practical in your hands. That says you've got this goal in front of yourself, you've got this skill as well, something that you do, something where you very practical, you you know you're doing your job and you get money for that. You get paid. You know you are contracting somebody down there and you know you will go do this job you know repay these computers person will pay you knight of pentacles normally represents that sort of relationship with in in your in in surrounding slow energy things are moving slowly here it's not that it doesn't suit you you know it's all right king of wands is maybe a bit too um too fiery, too fast, too loud, too busy, you know, too energetic. Maybe that one is a bit too energetic, but you are in a slower pace, very slow pace in here. But by all means, things are happening, very practical thing that you do. This person, maybe you do job for this person. Maybe this is the one who ordered this job, ordered from you this job for you to do. And you will be doing, slowly but surely, person will pay you. It could, could be very well something like that. Somebody who's Aries, that's your March, doing something very practical. 
and uh, receiving some money end of the day now three of wands with queen of pentacles now queen of pentacles within your libra this energy is really beautiful i love queen of pentacles because it's very discreet and does a job everything is done it's actually not just everything done but everything even prepared terrain prepared for other people to do their jobs you see what I'm saying? Like mother in the house, preparing everything so all family members can go about the school, work, uh, jobs, everything prepared to make life easier for other people. You know, that kind of person, very, very caring energy. You've got it within yourself. But then this endeavor is new things, something new that you do bravely, bravely looking overseas. In, in, in the world for something new, something very promising. This is much promising and they were lots of communication, communication with somebody overseas, somebody from foreign country, selling something, um, export import, doing something very new, but by all means, this is being very brave in here, doing things bravely, not being not being afraid. Even if you are doing it first time, you are going for it. You'll do that. Overseas, business somewhere in another country. Yes, it's fine, no problem. Queen of Pentacles is being very grounded, very certain with yourself. You don't have doubts that 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 what you have started, that what is brand new, that what is overseas, that what you communicating, you know exactly what you're talking about. You know how to go about that job. You know how you're going to re receive results. You see what I'm saying? You have no doubts here because you've done everything properly. Queen of Pentacles, all your groundwork is set properly. That's your April, very stable, very stable. But now three of pentacles within you and five of wands. This situation in May could apply maybe to your living quarters, maybe to your house or your flat, the way you're doing something around your place, around your home, um, decorating, building something where your family members cannot make cannot agree about, I don't know, wallpapers, what sort of reconstruction on the house we're supposed to do, what sort of um, paint we're supposed to use, what kind of curtain I'm supposed to buy. That kind of discord in here, nothing much. This is not serious. Five of Wands is not serious uh, uh, argument. Everybody's standing with its own, own uh, um, idea. Everybody is defending its idea. Everybody has its own agenda. But it's nothing serious. These people are best friends or family members. You see what I'm saying? That kind of discord within family members around, you know, wallpapers. Nothing much serious. It's not going to make, you know, a huge disagreement or hatred between them. Nothing like that. It's, it, the things will be all right. But uh, uh, May might uh, actually bring you Libra into that kind of situation that you are doing something around your home. June. June is quite a funny month. It's nothing much that is happening in here besides you um, dealing with your difficulties. It's it's maybe it's no more difficulties. This is the last one, but still you are dealing with that. I mean something that is stabbing the back, something that was unpleasant conversation, um, something some deceit, some lies, something that. Um, Exhaust you something that was just difficult, physically difficult and exhaust you. Could be also something like that, difficult work, lots of worries from all sides. You know, with the Ten of Swords, it was not just worrying about business, not just worrying about money, but worrying about everything, you know. And now in June, it's over. It's a last is coming day, last possible misfortune or, or trouble he is there to deal with. But luckily, that's uh, with the Ten of Swords, we always said it's over now. And it's always gleams of hope with this one. That new things that appear with Ten of Swords, it could be something that will take you maybe into something prosperous later, into maybe something happy, happier. Because Ten of Swords says it's over. 
everything that was difficult that you have to handle and you have to endure, it's over in June. You need some time to rest, to heal. You see what I'm saying? It could be that you're being ill. Yeah, this is illness that, you know, it was high fever and you've been in the bed for even weeks. Now you are healing there. Could be also for some of you that you are healing um, from this illness, from this maybe injury, physical injury with Ten of Swords. That you be physically injured and you are healing. But by all means, these two sword cards says you have to rest, recuperate, heal, spend some time on your own. There is no work, there is no career, there is no nothing in here, but you to heal yourself, to make your body feel better. Your body, your mind, you must make yourself feel better because all your troubles are over, all right, but this month you have to, you have to give yourself some time. Do nothing. Do nothing. You either, this isn't, even if you decide to go vacation, you know, with four of swords, yeah, maybe. But you're not going to even notice this beautiful place around you. You will be in the room sleeping all day long because you are exhausted and you just need a time on your own. You see what I'm saying? June is just like that. You've got six of swords now again in July, repeating this influencing energy from last year where you really where you feel that from now on it will be easier it will be easier all right june says all the troubles are over just heal give yourself some time to get over it and you got over it you moved on you moved on into something much easier i mean queen of pentacles is your environment that is Capricorn Virgo of Taurus or Taurus person in your environment that you are in contact, in conversation with. It could be that is your mother looking after you, maybe. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, it could be that some business woman is now making some sort of business proposals to you that and that makes your life much easier at this point in July. But I really think that it is this very careful, very tender, very loving person that you have in your environment. Very responsible. This is a responsible person looking after you, being with you in difficult times. And you feel that thanks to this person, you feel that your life is now easier. For whatever reason, whether that you got some job offer or you've got, or, or it's just a somebody who is with you, helping you in these difficult times, just to go through these difficult times, caring about you, could be just something like that in June and July. You are going through these difficulties, maybe illness or something, and somebody is with you, and you are healing, recuperating, you are getting better situation in your life. It's getting easier, June and July. You are going through this rough patch. The world and the temperance together in August now. now moment that we got out of these two months, we've got something that is very major, change of situation, complete change of situation, kind of this period of time, this, uh, um, this period of time, this period in your life is over. It's never going to come back again that you just grew over this situation, you grew over these difficulties. You're not going to be experiencing something like that ever again. You did have, as I said, somebody um, with you to help you to go through these difficult times. Completing situation, looking for something new, but now in August, it says it's not time. You know that situation is over but you still need to give yourself some time even in august even when everything is obvious that new story is now in your books it's a completely new things that comes your way old life old this 
patch, rough patch in your life is over. But still, you need to balance yourself and give, give yourself some time. Whether after illness or after difficulties, even September, it's obviously it's over. You feel good. Everything is just fine. It's a successful completion. Everything rounded up. But still says, need some more time for you. Balance yourself, Libra. Does That suits you very well. I mean, you are not easy with your decisions. And I think this August shows your character just the way you are. Everything is fine. Everything is good. But what you rush? Just wait for everything to blend, to die down. And then with brand new beginning, you know, with the brand new things, whatever it is. But at this point, you are not rushing. You are giving yourself some time. Very balanced energy. It's over and you're very balanced. You are looking forward for something else. You completely, um, you are kind of trying to forget. You will try to forget difficulties. That kind of temperance. You need to forget it. Again, we have people, more, some, more people. King of Cups within you, now King of Sword in your environment. That's your energy, Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius person, somebody who's really knowledgeable there. You are within energy of King of Cups. You are this emotional but very stable one. You know what you want, you know that you feel good, and you are ready to move on. After this uh, after um, uh, this August with temperance and world, you feel really good about yourself. You are very balanced, you are very stable, you know whatever comes your way, you can deal with. You are ready, you feel good to move on now in September. That's really nice. And now you are dealing with somebody. You've got conversation with this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person. Somebody like that suits you because this is energy that you like. You recognize yourself within this energy. People like that is, is usually good friends to you. you um, uh, this one could be somebody who is um, somebody who's very knowledgeable maybe in military, maybe in police force, maybe some lawyer, you know, but you do have good relationship with this person. King of Cups and King of Swords, you people have good relationship. Thanks to you, you are the one who's very friendly, who's very understanding. Maybe this person supposed to give you some sort of advice, maybe help you to, I don't know, to draft some contract, maybe help you with some legal uh, dealings, anything. This person is there for you as a friend. This one is your friend. King of Swords in September. You are dealing with somebody who's your friend. And all the time, you guys, you'll be together discussing things, maybe learning something. Maybe this person try to, try to teach you something, to uh, advise you. This communication is very important. I don't see that you people are doing jobs for each other or something, but this conversation, this communication for this between you and another person, is very important. It is major theme this uh, month in uh, uh, September. As I said, you are very calm with yourself. You are very friendly. That's why, that why I'm thinking you people are friends. Somebody does that for you because he's your friend. Helping you with something that this person knows something. You need this knowledge from this person. And this person will help you because you people are friends. The world again within you and Ten of Swords, it's over. You know it's over. You knew it. You knew it. It was obvious that it's over from June. It was just maybe something difficult. It was just difficult to move on. But it is over. By October, by October, it's your month, Libra. You feel good with yourself. The world, you successfully completed that what was difficult and it's over. You are happy with yourself, being very happy with yourself, the way how you conducted yourself in this difficult situation, how you managed to go through these difficulties. It seems that something that was difficult that uh, is, is visible here in uh, in June, it follows you. Perhaps it's something that you know that exists from earlier on. 
and that appear in June to just for your attention to get over it just to get over it to give it full attention and to get over it doesn't matter your health or your whatever difficulties that you have could be your health business anything family something anything you are going over it attending that problem that you have you are doing a responsible job and by october everything is done and dusted you are very happy with yourself the way you conducted yourself how you managed to finish it it's never gonna come back again i mean it is it is obvious i mean the world energy we do have in august with the temperance when you when we said you needed still some time but now you are closing it down you don't need any more time you know you are have this awareness it's over difficulties are over in here this period in your life that's what i'm saying it's not that we are talking difficulties from june we are talking difficulties from maybe from your life <laughs> you know from from long term something that was following you maybe financial difficulties maybe i don't know something private difficulties your health difficulties that you did have followed you and appear in june for your attention, for your last attention. And yeah, you, you, you're doing it, you're dealing with the, the situation. However difficult, maybe something that was, as I said, long lasting, something that followed you in your life. You are completing and as I said, you will be very proud of yourself. You will be very happy that you're closing down some period in your life, some difficult period in your life is over by October. Now, all cups in November, beautiful feelings. It's just happy family, happy people, uh, being very nostalgic, your happy home. Um, you remember um, moments of your life when you played with your brothers and your sisters, with your friends, time when you went to school first time, found your friends, you know, things like that, remembering good times, that, those times from your childhood, or, or watching your children play outside and enjoying them Queen of Cups is just like that watching these children growing you know with nostalgia with happiness with you know remembering your childhood as well but that kind of moment in November just just everything is nice and polite and uh, very mellow um, very pleasant you are very happy with yourself, being happy with yourself, loving your family, loving your children, watching over them, watching over people that you love, feeling that people love you, people, these people, your family, they love you. Very beautiful energies after this October, after your understanding it's over, this period of my life, which was very difficult and for a very long time. Something in your life was really difficult. Now it's over. And you are in, it's over and you enjoying. At this point in November, you are enjoying. Just give yourself a break and enjoy your family. Just be happy with your family, with children, with people that you love. Very, very lovely, very emotional month. Just enjoy it. Now, Ten of Cups, it's happiness again. Happiness again. But with the moon, moon is within you. Look, with Ten of Cups, we always say some, some successful, some happy completion, some a happy conclusion within the family, within, uh, um, within the family, within business. But normally we would refer this happiness to family happiness, with, to family gatherings, with a conclusion of something that is related, happy conclusion of something that is related to your family, important for your family, for all, for children, for you people, all happy day with this but with it's always 10 number 10 says it's always seed in there for the future to grow for more for more abundance for more happiness but for you it seems to me that you don't see it right now that is something some unknown factor are appearing in your mind within you 
yes, family is happy, and you concluded, you finished something. You know, it was difficult life. You know, like parents did have difficult life, uh, raising children, and now everything is fine, everything concluded, children children grew, they they happy, they have their families. You are just watching over them and enjoying them, loving them. Now, happy family is there. But what about you? What you gonna do with yourself from now on? Once you dealt with all difficulties and you concluded everything, what from there? If all is happily finished, difficulties dealt with, but what for you now, this year, end of the year? You will ask yourself. You won't have this visibility for yourself, uh, Libra, for yourself, end of the year. Everything is fine. And this is really nice year. I think you will be finished. You will be concluding something that was difficult in your life. You will be, you know, you mostly concluding stuff in a very positive way. We do have beginnings. Let's not kid each other. We do have these beginnings. We do have opportunities. We do have things how you gonna make your money. But most of the the second part of this year is dealing with people in a happy way, concluding something that was difficult, whatever that was, making this family um, happy, these people around you, making yourself happy. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, you are making yourself happy, and you are. You will be happy, Libra. By the end of the year, this year will bring some major relief for you. You will be feeling happy about yourself. Some difficulties will go away. Some long-standing difficulties will go away. But then, as I said, by the end of by the end of the year, you will ask yourself, "Okay, I completed. I've done it. I'm successful. I made everybody happy." So, what from there, Libra? I wish you happy New Year, and enjoy it.